Yeah. Yeah. The truth about me. The truth about me, to the best of my ability, the truth about me, you guys, I'll give you a, a hold on, right okay. alright, about me, well I like Taco Bell, I love Taco Bell, big Taco Bell fan, okay, moving forward, <coughs> about me well you guys know I like fireworks no I'm, it's gonna be a little deeper than that okay I grew up in Ohio in a city plain old regular city I grew up Jewish and that's about it grew up Jewish uh, plan on doing more cooking video guys I could marinate a steak fucking easy prick prick I got holes in it. God damn it! Put some bar splash barbecue sauce on it. Toss it on the grill. Uh, throw it on the grill. That's about it. Man, it's easy. Cooking is easy. Shit. Worked and done 15 kitchens at least in my life. Yeah, I got braggers rights. Hell yeah. I ain't no spring chicken. Okay, moving forward here. About me. Like I said, I grew up, I had one sister, two years younger than me, so uh, they didn't want to put me in a regular classroom when I was really young. All I remember was, uh, I'll be 40 in less than four months, guys. Uh, they were going to put me in a handicapped, retarded classroom, because my IQ, I acted weird. I thought I was Heathcliff or Garfield when I was like a preschooler or something, so they fit. And they kicked me out of school, and they said my IQ was low. They evaluated me. Apparently, I had learning disabilities. I guess they said CAPD, Central Auditory Processing Disorder, Central Auditory Processing Disorder, something. So I had to go to. Anyways, my mom didn't want me to be in a classroom with handicap retarded kids, so she pulled me out of there. Dump this beer, actually. It's fresh beer. Ah, Modelo. Last night I didn't even sip from it. Kind of glad I saved it. So nonetheless, I left. Uh, she didn't keep me in that classroom with the. Well, I'm holding. someone called me so she didn't keep she didn't, my mom didn't want me to be in there it broke my mom's heart okay I was just really young I was like a preschooler so and I cracked my head open when I was like five or six years old because I was excited about going to McDonald's they put 10 stitches in my head I'm, I'm, I was bleeding 10 stitches and I almost died I swallowed a teddy bear tag when I was like seven months old my dad threw me like a football to my mom in midair my mom saved me and yanked the tag out of my throat I don't remember but anyways my dad said I turned blue, blue as can be, but as a deep Great Lakes. Anyways, back to my story. So my mom didn't want to, she wasn't having it, she didn't want me in that classroom with retarded kids, so she put me in a private school, a Catholic private school. My mom said she had a dream that night that, I don't know, maybe it was from above, I don't know, so she, she put me in a, uh, uh, she put me in a special uh, private school. I was bullied, guys. I was bullied so bad. Thrown in mud. I was bullied so severely when I was a kid. And so I stuck it out there. Uh, it was um, elementary school. And then I went to a learning disabled school. I that was like $10,000 a year back in the early 90s. I went to a learning disabled school after that. For my 5th to ninth grade year. Again, I was bullied there. No friends in either schools. No social life. No friends. Then after the learning disabled school, I tried a public school for the first time. Public school in 95, summer of 95. 
tried football, it didn't work out. I dropped out, I couldn't handle public school, it was too hard, so I, too overwhelming, I was depressed. My mom and dad were still married at the time, so I left that school. Um, I tried, I tried so hard on the football conditioning practice, so hard that they nicknamed me Forrest Gump, because I had blisters on my feet, 98, 90, 100 degrees out, guys wouldn't show up, I was like one of the few guys that would show up, I would show up and I was trying my heart out, you know, sprinting, I was running as hard as I could, even though I had blisters, you know, I had so much, uh, I was famous for being, um, uh, a go-getter, like, like, not quitting, you know, I just gave it my all, you know, I gave it 110, and, and all the football players, the coaches knew it, even though I was the smallest kid on the team, but anyway, I didn't actually play a real game, I just did a scrimmage game. So I, my, it was because we were Jewish. My dad was Jewish and he didn't want me to play. And my mom's Italian and Catholic, so that was awkward. Two different religions. So my dad yanked me out of that school. So I ended up going to a Jewish school after that. So I was only there like two or three months at this public school. So then I went to uh, the Jewish school. Um, and that's where I spent my high school years. My 10th, 11th, and 12th grade year were spent there at the, at the Jewish high school. I graduated in 97. I was miserable in the high school. My classes were modified because of my learning disabilities. Um, I even had to go to occupational therapy as a child in, in the 80s, um, Children's Hospital, occupational therapy. I had braces also for like eight years. My teeth were every which way. I was bullied, but when I went to the Jewish school, they didn't bully me there, but I didn't like it. So in nine, I graduated in 97, diploma, summer of 97. And that's when uh, things started to get interesting. Then. I blew all my high school graduation money on food, uh, and then 98 came around, I went to Israel, in 98 they sent me there to a Jewish school, and I got homesick, so I left Israel early, I was supposed to be there longer, uh, my cousin lived in Jerusalem, uh, I started at Columbus State Community College in January of 98, the classes again were modified, never no friends, I had no friends in high school, no, no, no time, you know, in college was miserable, I did dental technology, finished in 02, and 98, I came back November of 98 from Israel and then got a job in a warehouse and that's when I started drinking and my mom and dad divorced around 99 and shit hit the fan, hit the ceiling and then clouds just came crashing down pretty much. When I came back from Israel in November of 98, everything just got worse as the years went on. I um, met this girl in AOL in 2001. She lived in Lansing, Michigan. I mean, I could go on and on about my story. I started drinking and around 2000, 99 or 2000, I started drinking. Uh, Anyways, it was because of the warehouse I was working in. But I could go on and on. Filed bankruptcy. Uh, went in the army in 2005. Worked in the factory, no three printing factory. Worked in a lot of warehouses, temp jobs. Uh, you know, they just took off from there. Just odd jobs, temp jobs, kitchen dishwashing, uh, factory warehouse. That's, that's all I know. That's it. I've had about over 50 jobs in my life. Um. And then when my mom and dad married, I mean, I lived with my dad for a while, and then he kicked me out and moved me in, and my mom kicked me out, and then I was going to check into a homeless shelter at one point. I had actually a bunker sign of na a number. I went as that far as to staying in a homeless shelter. And then in 06, I got out, lived out of town in the summer of 06. Then I lost everything. Car got repoed, filed bankruptcy two years later, I think. 08, then I went to Chef Apprentice, went back to community college after leaving in 02, and then dropped out in 2009, community college, did a lot of kitchen work, dishwashing. My first job in 97 was being a dishwasher in a nursing home, worked a lot of nursing home, retirement homes. You know, now I'm degraded, you know, I was bullied, and I don't know, was never a girlfriend, never no social life relationship, always been single alone. It's the story of my life, miserable, just myself, loneliness. And then, um, you know, uh, then I started YouTube in December of 06 when I came back from Cincinnati. Started that. So I've been on YouTube ever since December of 06. <coughs> the rest is history. I've been on there, you know. Neighbors used to drink. We, you know, well, had a few apartments intermittently here and there. Lived on my own. I could go on and on about my life story. There's no confidence, no self-esteem, but I know all nine minutes. All right, well, join me for my next bid.